welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome for the first time it's your girl Shan and in today's video I'll be doing a lock Q&A so yeah I know you haven't seen me in like a minute now but your girl was sick but she's bouncing back now I had the flu but I'm feeling a bit better so today we're gonna do this lock Q&A so I do ask person to ask me question about my locks and I got some question here so we'll be running through them but before we go any further, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Now, let's get into the video. So we're jumping in with the first question and it says, how long since you start locking your hair? So I started locking my hair from 2021. So my hair has been locked for three years now. What made you started locks? So what made I start a lock? My hair was not growing. I used to do a lot of style and it used to damage my hair. Like braids, I'll braid my hair, keep it for three months and then I'll pull it out and then I'll just wash my hair and start braiding it again. So it didn't really have any time to get any breeze. So the roots were just getting weaker and weaker by the minute and my hair was just not growing. What was your hair like before lock? My hair before lock, I had cream hair. Even worse, what was dropping out. So my hair was cream and when I started to lock my hair, I had to let it get natural first. So it was cream first, it was like natural hair, then cream hair and now lock. Have you ever dyed your lock? If no, will you try? So I have dyed my lock before. I've did copper sunset, I've did red, burgundy, and this plumish color, which was a mixture of red and purple. I would still dye my hair, but for the work that I do, it doesn't allow me to really wear any color unless it's natural color, so I just keep my hair natural. Do you rather interlocking or retwisting? So I do rather interlocking and that's what I always do because with retwist it doesn't stay. Let me tell you the difference. Interlocking is when you actually come from the root down but retwist is when you just grab the root and kind of like palm roll it and let it stay there. So I rather interlocking so when I see the new growth I can actually interlock it and get it all down and then I see the length either way have you ever thought about pulling them out yes I thought about pulling up my hair because I want to jump up in braid and sewing and a wig but I was like no I really love my lock so I thought about it but right now moving forward I haven't in a minute how many lock do you have? So I have 76 locks. All these give me an addition of 76. So I have 76 locks. Do you wish you use another method? Yes, I wish I use another method. I wish I did instant lock. Cause then it will be saving me a whole lot of money. What I did is I locked my hair on the Afro Kinky. So I did the Afro Kinky and while it was growing out, I used to lock my hair underneath the Afro Kinky hair. And then I would take it out and then I will redo Afro Kinky or I'll put braid over it for it to just grow underneath. Or I'll do locks underneath. So I wish I did instant lock because then I would be saving a whole lot of money instead of braiding my hair every now and then and afro kinky every now and then and doing all these styles. So I do wish I did instant lock instead of locking it underneath here. And I also did the two strand because the afro kinky was on as a two strand and then I just continue underneath until I pull it out and see the length that I wanna work with and then I just continue locking it without hair some of the times. What do you like most about your lock? To be honest, I love everything about my lock. I love the size. Okay, what I like most, let me just 
stick to the question. What I like most about my lock is to see the growth. I love seeing the growth. One time, my hair could never catch up in one. My hair could never catch in nothing at all. I know I can do a wide variety of style with the length that I have now. So I really love the growth. Because really and truly, my locks are come from far. And it suits me. Next question. What do you hate most about your lock? I really don't hate anything about my lock. It's just one thing and it's that I have built up in some places. Like I have built up. You're not going to see it now, but I have built up. It gives like an ash look. Like, you know, ash, yeah, like smoke ash or cigarette ash, I have built up inside my lock. I don't like that, but it can be dyed or you can use products for that. What is your favorite lock hairstyle? So, to be honest, I don't do a lot of hairstyle. It's like I'll just do a half up, half down, or I'll catch it in two, or I'll catch it in one and drop this down, or I'll do half up, half down, and drop this down. But I really love the rose petal. That's when you do the this and this and elastic it and it just shaped like a flower. Yeah, I really love that style. I style my hair, I think, three times ever in my life. I wore my lock on my birthday. And I did like this barrel twist up and then I did the petals and then I did the the half up when you roll it looking something. Yeah, you know what I mean. Why do you lock your hair but still wear hair over it? I get that question a lot. Sometimes you just need a different look. I need a different look so sometimes I put hair over it for a special occasion or I just feel like I want a different look so I might have my locks and I have braid over me but that doesn't mean that I pulled out my lock I might wear a wig but my locks are still there so I just do it to have a different look or I have some special occasion where I wish not to wear my locks what length do you want your lock so i want shoulder length like with lock it never stop growing like you can have lock straight down to your ankle and beyond but i tell myself whenever my hair is like too long i'm always going to cut it because to have lock here is when it comes down to products shampoo it takes a lot of shampoo guys so really and truly shoulder length all the time Back length for some time, I'll keep it there depending on how I would really want the volume of a style. But afterwards, I'm just gonna cut it and keep it at shoulder length. How long does it take to be locked? Um, I really don't know how to answer this question because I really don't remember. I know I started locking my hair in December of 2021, but like I said, it's always over here. But when I take the hair out, it's locked to the... So for instance, I did an Afro Kinky this length. But my hair is like this length. When I pull it out, I'll get more length because I'm going to have new growth. So probably it get down here and it locks underneath. So I don't know if that answers the question. <laughs> but I don't know how long. I really don't know how long it takes. For me, I know for everybody it's a different hair type, different textures and all. But for me, I normally just lock it underneath and then I know that once I interlock it, it's locked and then it not. Because really and truly locking is all about your hair knotting. Just have to knot And I'm down to my final question. It was only 15. Yeah, the last one. What treatment do you use or wax to style it? So treatment, I really don't use a lot of products in my hair because I think my hair just grow naturally. It took time though, but I really don't use a lot of products. I think that that can damage hair a lot. So I just use shampoo and the shampoo that I use, sometimes I use VO5. 
but I use head and shoulder for dangerous reason. I don't really have dangerous anymore to be honest and I just use shampoo. I don't condition my hair because condition is actually to soften hair and I don't want to soften my hair and then you know the root is very soft and then it can just like you know and I don't want to lose any locks. Have I lost locks before? Yes, that's not a question. I just put that in. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend anybody to condition their locks because locks is actually your hair being knotted up. Because a person can twist their hair, take too long to pull it out, and your hair not up and your hair is locking. So I wouldn't recommend anybody to condition their lock because that is just going to soften it and then you're, you can lose a lock that way. I only use wax i don't have it right now Let me go i use this wax to style my hair so when it comes down to my edges because i do leave them out this is the wax that i use the one that is bubble gum because it smells so good so this is the one that i use gray top white layer it smells good bubble gum so i use this one but if i don't see this one in the store i'll use the red container that one smells good as well so this is the locks that i use to style my hair i'm going to be styling my hair a lot more often just going to explore some style and see what suits my face more and stuff like that i can learn like the barrel twist and i can learn the fish flat well not fish flat inside cane roll and a whole lot of different style. I must say my hair journey has been a very hard one because I have person be like, it's not growing. But I trust the process and if I should recommend product, Jolly Fear Oil, that's a very good one. My aunt use it, that's why I can talk about it. My aunt uses Jolly Fear Oil from China K, yes. My aunt used that oil and it did a major, major, major difference with her hair. She doesn't have luck though, she has natural hair, but it plays a huge role to her. So I'll recommend Jolly Fair Oil. Also, it's all based on the texture. If you want to, to strengthen or you want to thicken or whatever, you can always Google and find out what texture you have and what you're going for and buy that product differently like when i'm finished locking my hair i love going through the parting with these this one is the avocado oil it says promote longer stronger healthier hair help protect hair scalp and skin from sun damage so this can also be used on skin this is the avocado oil the via natural ultra care i also use this well this is the first time i'm going to try this this is the peppermint oil and when I say peppermint, I mean it really smells minty. The only reason why I bought this is for like when I put on wigs because you know wig itches. So it says help makes hair stronger, helps to improve skin, helps with itchy scalp. So like when I take my wigs off, I'll do this and just, you know, massage it for it to help with the itching. And this one is the jojoba, jojoba oil. Impart strength to strand, nourishes hair to come back, breakage and shedding. So these are the oils that I would use when I'm finished locking my hair to so just give it the sheen and also go through the parting. This one is for wig purposes. This one is what I use most of all most times and this also comes in a grape flavor the grape one it smells so good it will leave your hair smelling fruity and nice so yeah so we have come down to the end of another video be sure to like comment share and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever i post a new video follow me on my social my instagram is it's underscore just underscore shan and my tiktok is by dot with dot shan just look at this. Until next time, see you in my next video. Bye. Peace.